Hello and welcome back to the City Skyline series where today we're going to be making a beachfront. Um, I'm going to be basing this beachfront off of California beaches primarily, um, but I am going to throw in a bit of inspiration from um, some of the UK beaches that I'm very familiar with having uh, gone to as a child. Um, and yeah, I thought it'd be a, a nice expansion of the transport hub area um, that we made a few episodes ago. Uh, I kind of have this big harbour area um, that's divided up by a train line um, that's kind of on its own peninsula. So I can't, I've already got one half of that done which is kind of like the ferry terminal and the amusement park and lots of stuff like that. So I thought on the other side a really, a really cool thing to add in would be a nice big beachfront because there isn't actually any coastal um, water in my city, it's all river based, um, which did cause some issues with the terraforming as you'll see a bit later on in the video. Um, but I thought it'd be a nice area for, you know, the slightly um, more extravagant members of my city to, you know, kind of chill out, um, buy some ridiculously priced villas, um, and it's also a good little holiday break uh, for some of the other people in my city. Um, so if you enjoy this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down and please leave some feedback in the comments as to why. Um, and if there's anything you want me to see me do in the future in another episode in this series, then again, just drop a comment, uh, let me know. I'll definitely look into that. Um, yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this series. Uh, I'm really appreciative of everyone that does, and I've had quite a bump in subscribers lately, so uh, I'm really pleased with that. Um, Alright, uh, let's get into the time lapse. So to begin with, I just wanted to terraform out the beach, um, and the way I wanted to do this was have it tiered. So I was going to have uh, a tier that extends all the way out into the, the big river we've got, and then I'll slow slowly raise up another tier heading towards the beach so hopefully we'll have this nice smooth kind of ramped beach um, that looks a bit more natural. Um, I was actually following a video that Flux Trance did with um, Paradox uh, where they recommended this is a really good way of how to make a beach um, if you add lots of little like smoothed out natural um, you know different trench sizes and stuff like you can kind of see me doing now um, it kind of gives that more of a realistic feel and um, so I did that and then uh, I let the simulation run and uh, as was the same with the dockyard the water just went all over my city so uh, I let the sim run for quite a while and then I'll just jump ahead in the video because uh, <laughs> I destroyed quite a lot actually um, I had to go the, the water actually got as far as the downtown area um, and I had to delete loads of abandoned buildings and redo them. Uh, a bit of a pain but it always tends to be the case when you do any messing about with terraforming uh, water that's pre-existing and I think it's especially bad for me because uh, this isn't coastal water, this is river water so it's already flowing. Um, so what tends to happen is uh, any changes I make it makes a huge wave and then the wave will come back um, and cause another wave and then I just have to wait for those waves to f slowly um, ebb out. Um, so for the main beach uh, just wanted to, I added some little props in, um, some towel props that I found on the workshop and I added in like a, the, I just put some national flags in but the idea was that they are actually like um, the, the surf flags that you get on beaches that tell you whether you can enter the water or not. Um, that was kind of what I was going for. I couldn't find any of those on the asset store, so I just used some national flags instead. And I found this really awesome pier asset. Um, it's called the Grand Pier V2, if you want to search for that. Um, it's really, really cool. Uh, it reminds me of Brighton Pier a little bit. Uh, without the amusement park, we've already got one of those in the city. Um, and yeah, I just I wanted to have that a bit raised up and kind of at the one end of the beach. Um, and then I, you know, just to smooth, make it look a bit more natural, I just put loads of rocks underneath it um, and kind of made that into a location that you would expect to see. Uh, I did also add a little beach gym. Um, I didn't have that many assets, I only had these like um, weightlifting benches, so I used those. Um, and you might have seen earlier, I plonked down some beach volleyball parks as well. 
um, just to add a bit, a bit something extra to the beach. Um, the, the way I was thinking was you'd have the, the main road that would have like lots of restaurants and villas and apartments on it. Um, and then you'd have kind of like a beach park, which is just loads of walkways, you know, things like this where it is just the exercise area, some beach volleyball, um, some like drinks huts and stuff. And then beyond that, you'd have the actual beach um, where people would go drop a towel, relax, uh, that kind of thing. Just to add a, like an extra layer of separation. And it's kind of, I, I got the inspiration from like California beaches. Um, that's kind of what I was aiming for. Uh, and then I just I just filled it full of palm trees because that is what you would expect to see. Um, so I mainly focused that on the the park kind of layer, um, and then I made uh, like a line of them going around the outside of the footpath. Um, so another nice another certified block between the pathway and the actual public beach. Uh, I used I had to use the big decal um, for. Uh, the big beach decal quite a lot to add some better looking sand because the base game sand looks terrible um, so I, I cover I cover more of the beach with it later on in the video um, it looks really good uh, at the top and then it just as soon as it gets to the vanilla one it doesn't look as good um, and then I added in these uh, ocean view apartments these were just kind of like you know the cheap apartments that you get on the side and I the original plan was to have these going all along the beachfront, um, but I kind of realised that I wanted the rest to be like really fancy villas um, because you know these are going to be the expensive houses. Um, I did a like a little mini tour of uh, San Francisco, and the like the villas by the beach. Are, you know the guy, to, the tour guy had taken us around said that they were worth like more than one million like two three million dollar houses and you know they weren't particularly big or anything they were just in prime location um so that's the kind of idea i had um i kind of wanted to replicate that for this area have it being like this nice modern futuristic villa kind of setting um so i, I just found all the really fancy futuristic looking villas a lot of these are actually just vanilla assets um, so I just made good use of those, plonked a lot of them down um, right along the beachfront. Uh, and then I did um, I did add an In-N-Out burger as well, um, again inspired from when I went to San Francisco. Um, and then the other area that I added um, kind of towards the pier uh, end is I added in a arcade area. Because um, I'm, I'm not sure what American... Uh, beachfronts alike, but in the UK at least, you always tend to find arcades um, with like penny machines and um, all kinds of random rubbish. Uh, but you know, it's a good place to waste a bit of time and spend a few pennies. Um, so I just wanted that area to be all kept together as well. That's why I wanted to put it next to the pier, um, so that all the like hustle and bustle area is in one spot, so that. That's where you would want to go um, with, you know, all your families and uh, I've plumped a few bars and a few restaurants around that area too. Uh, I am going to flesh out more of the, like the second layer. Um, so I've only really done the beach front in this video, um, but I do plan on actually doing a uh, fleshing out the other, the f bit further back from the beach, but I'll do that off camera because that's mainly just going to be residential work, which doesn't make for particularly exciting viewing. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to do was just completely up the amount of uh, like towels and uh, beach parasols that are actually on the beach so a load more people could come in and enjoy themselves. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I did another restaurant pier just on the end um, and I thought that was like a really nice little ending to the, uh, to the beach. Right, um, that's it for this video. Um, I'm quite happy with how this all turned out. Uh, it is quite a bit of a pain making the beach, um, but that is mainly due to the terraforming issues that I was having. Uh, all the other stuff I think has kind of come on quite well. Um, let me know what you thought of the beach I made and if there's any improvements you'd make in the comments below. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.